My name is Ben Hopman and I lead the crisis simulation offering for Cyberbit. I think there's several reasons why exercising and training is important. The first thing is it gets people comfortable making decisions in complicated environments where they don't have all the information that they need for making those decisions. It gets them comfortable with recognizing patterns and getting confident with making decisions in an information vacuum. The crisis will move faster than the information will come and you have to train for that. You have to get comfortable with being in that situation where you're making high stakes decisions and you don't have all the information available. And the best way to get confident, get comfortable is practice like in exercises we've done today. I'm Martin Jarvis. I work for the Cybersecurity Operations Unit and I lead the incident management team. I really enjoyed the exercise today and I found it challenging, which is good. For these sort of things, you don't want to be in your comfort zone. And it was great working with the team and the Joint Cybersecurity Unit as well. I liked hearing from the other team, getting their perspective. I'm Matt Gordon-Smith. I'm the Director of Resilience Insights Limited. A piece of advice I would give to any organisation or government departments who are looking to prepare for a cyber attack is to test an exercise. You really don't know the sort of issues that you're going to find until you run those exercises and they crop up. People and process are absolutely vital. My name is Cedric Chaoju. Uh, I work at MOD Caution. I thought the exercise was really, really good. Well organized, well run. Coming from a military background in incident response for cyber incidents, one of the biggest things I learned today is the importance of integrating what we call in the military J9, so media and legal representation into your incident response process. So the exercise itself was um, kind of eye-opening. Uh, I thought it was a good experience and definitely good from a, a crisis and a management point of view on how you approach the situation. I'd say my biggest lesson was how to kind of identify my position, um, where I stand, and then my responsibilities within that role. I think the capability of the team here surprised me today. I was able to kind of bounce ideas off them, go through and work out what we thought was the best course of action to go forward. The hardest part of today would be the time limitations, making decisions within a short kind of time scale, no time to prep and plan uh, and methodically go through my answers. That's what I found, I found challenging, but rewarding. There was a call from a journalist. And that, was a, that was really tough, thinking on my feet. I stuck to the lines that we'd developed. They really pressurized me and I was conscious of the image that I was portraying. I tried to be professional in the middle of a busy incident, a scenario. The most interesting part of the day for me was that when I had to talk to a real journalist uh, because my day-to-day -day job involves just the technical aspects of the cyber incidents response process. The exercise today went really well and everyone's benefited from it hugely. The independence and objectivity of having a third party there to facilitate these for you really just outlines the importance of having a company like Cyberbit to do that and to let you focus on the things that are important for your own business. I think taking what I've learned away from the exercise, it is about relationship building. Well, one thing that kind of caught me out was there was an inject where information had come third hand from an investigator into the scenario. And I think how I handle that information or how we handle that information, I would definitely do that differently. You know, that information that we got influenced our decisions maybe in a way that I shouldn't have done. So I would definitely react to that information differently in future. I was really surprised how much I learned J9, media and legal side of things in the incident response process. One thing today's exercise has shown is that the benefit of bringing multiple agencies together that wouldn't necessarily be exercising at the same time has generated a huge cross-pollination of ideas and thoughts and everyone's gonna go away with new things to take back to their own departments and their own organizations, which is great for everyone. There is a gap between the strategic, the operational and tactical levels in organizations, and this kind of exercise really, really helped with bridging that gap between those three components of an organization. I think companies like Cyberbit delivering this kind of awareness and training in industry and government is required. I think a lot of times people are aware they need to do it, but maybe don't have the time allocation or personnel to complete that or go through it. So by having these companies in place, it will highlight that kind of deficit and actually give a focus towards the end result. Major cyber attack will affect everything in an organization from the business to the strategy, all the way down through to first line of defense and the technical layer. We have to work together and we have to work together strongly, efficiently and frequently.